Welcome to the Test Prep Card channel. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about NIT Mizoram. So National Institute of Technology, Mizoram, all that you need to know about it if you are seeking admission and uh, what all courses are being offered by this NIT. So let's begin with a little bit of uh, information about National Institute of Technology, Mizoram. So it's uh, located, as the name suggests, in one of the northeastern states. And uh, it is affiliated by AICTE, just like other NITs. Uh, it's an autonomous institute and established way back in 2010. And uh, you can actually visit the official website, which is by the name of NITMZ. So this is National Institute of Technology, Mizoram. So it's in Aizol, which is the capital of Mizoram. And uh, it offers various courses in UG, PG, as well as PhD. And the entrance exams that are accepted are joint entrance examination for engineering as well as GATE. So let's have some more look. Uh, but before that, I would like to tell you that application mode is online. And uh, all those who are going to seek admission, you can actually refer to the uh, document prepared by test prep card for the NRA students, the DASA CIWG uh, document that is there. And you can find the link in the description. So let's move ahead and have a look at the eligibility for the various courses at NIT Mizoram. I told you that there are UG and PG courses. The UG courses mainly is uh, BTEC at this NIT Mizoram. And the fees is uh, more than 1 lakh to be precise. It's 1 lakh 36,000. Uh, so the candidates should have qualified 12th and have a valid JE mains course. That is the total eligibility for the BTEC UG level program. Then there is the MTEC as well, where you need to have a bachelor's degree. Uh, from any recognized institute in engineering or technology and uh, you should have minimum 60% aggregate marks. Then we have uh, apart from the MTech or the PG program, there is PhD program as well at the NIT Mizoram on offer. So candidate must have qualified either the gate or the net exam uh, with sufficient scores or the written test that may be conducted by this college. So Personal interview round will be there and counseling will be there for PhD programs at NIT Mizoram as well. And you can check the other details at the official website as I told you www.nitmz.ac.in. So moving further ahead, we see that the reservation for the NRI students at the NIT Mizoram uh, is uh, to the tune of 23 seats available for NRIs and the entrance exam required is obviously JE mains. And approx fee for Indian students uh, at NIT Mizoram is 85,000 per semester, while it is US dollar 4,000 for DASA category students. And again, 62,500 per semester for uh, the NRIs under CIWG category. So this is what you need to know if you are going to seek admission at NIT Mizoram. Then uh, the courses being offered by NIT Mizoram are uh, numerous. Computer Science and Engineering and the placement record is close to 90% for that. So it's a very much uh, uh, popular course at NIT Mizoram. Then there is Electrical and Electronics Engineering with a 60% placement rate and above 70% placement rate is there for Electronics and Communication Engineering as well. So Mechanical and Civil have uh, close to about 50% of the placement rate and they are also on offer for the BTEC or the UG level programs at NIT Mizoram. Then uh, the required entrance exam that you need to know for the BTEC, obviously I told you the valid JE main score with a minimum 60% aggregate marks uh, in 12th is required. But for MTech, a valid GATE score is required for your, ent uh, for your entry into this premium institute of NIT Mizoram. And for PhD, it has to be a GATE or a NET score as the required entrance examination. So the required cutoff for NIT Mizoram there are different categories of required cutoff for NIT Mizoram. Uh, so first of all, uh, the civil engineering uh, category, I will tell you for general category. And then I will tell you the OBC category as well. 34,000 to 49,757 for general in civil engineering and for OBC 9,274 to 14,730. Computer science and engineering. 16,681 to 29,000 for general category and for OBC 7,293 to 9,343 is the closing rank. Electrical, electrical and electronics engineering is there in the general category with the 22,000 up till 44,000 as the whole range of ranks that are accepted. 
last year and for OBC it's 9,000 to 13,000. For electronics and communication engineering which also have a good placement rate as I told you which was 70%. So the rank range for the general category at the NIT Mizoram for electronics and communication engineering is from 27,600 to 38,000 almost and for OBC it's 8,000 to 11,000 and for mechanical engineering for general category at NIT Mizoram 29,800 to 45,000 while for the OBC category it's 10,000 to almost 14,000 in the mechanical engineering section. Coming to the schedule cast and schedule tribe uh, cutoff ranks, civil engineering 5,600 to 8,300, for ST category is 2,300 to 2,900, then for computer science and engineering 3,600 to 4,400 is the opening and the closing rank, while for uh, ST category it's not available. Uh, but it could be updated. Electrical and electronics engineering for SC category is 5,600 to 6,800 while for ST it's 2,300 to 3,000. Then electronics and communication engineering 4,200 to 6,300 for the SC category and for ST it's 2,300 to 2,500. So very narrow margin at NIT Mizoram. Then uh, you have mechanical engineering 5900 to 8100 and for ST category it is 2300 to 3000 for mechanical engineering. So this was all about the required cutoff that you need to know across the various categories. For the NRI cutoff please refer to the uh, uh, link in the description. And coming to the scholarships which again is very much crucial topic that many of you students must be, must be very much interested in uh, because uh, uh, there are uh, scholarships offered under the uh, the famous scheme, the scholarship scheme of the National Scholarship Portal, which you can check at the scholarship.gov.in website. Uh, and uh, uh, the most of the details will be available at that link. But the second scholarship type, uh, which uh, various types of scholarships are available uh, for various categories like National Overseas Scholarship Scheme for SC students, National Fellowship for ST students, Raj Rajershi Shahu Maharaj Merit Scholarship, ONGC Scholarship, uh, National Fellowship and Scholarship for Higher Education for ST students, and Central Sector Scholarship Scheme. All of these are available uh, at the NIT Mizoram. So you can actually uh, go to and visit the NIT MZ dot uh, AC dot in the official website that I told you at the start of this video and have a look at the various scholarships offered and which one pertains to you, which you are eligible about. I have already told you in this video the eligibility criteria for the various courses, the required entrance exams and also the required cutoff. For the NRI cutoff, please to do refer to the link in the description below. And uh, with regards to the fees, which is very much important for the DASA category, it's US dollar 4000 per semester. While for the CIWG category, uh, the children of uh, Indians working in the Gulf, uh, it's 62,500 per semester, which is more or less at par with the uh, approx fee per semester for the Indian students as well. So this was all that you needed to know about the NIT Mizoram. I would request you to please refer to the document prepared by test prep card for the DASA CIWG category of students, which will be relevant for all of you who are going to appear in the JE exam and seeking admission for uh, any of the various institutes across the country for engineering examination. Uh, before I end this video, I would like to wish you all the best. For all the parents, uh, please uh, do look forward to Test Prep Card channel. Do subscribe to it for any updates which will actually guide your students, your uh, your uh, wards. And uh, for the students themselves who are preparing, you can refer to all the other videos at the Test Prep Card channel for the various guidance tips and uh, what all you need to know about the various examinations. I would like to thank you all and wish you all the best for the upcoming examinations.